Even me, Joe, in my heart. Somebody, let's lift our voice and begin to worship the Lord this morning. Let's begin to exhort Him and thank Jesus for the grace of God for our life. Let us celebrate Jesus from your heart, from your soul. I want us to thank Him. What a mighty God that we serve with the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, the mighty man. Jehovah God, Jehovah Rapha, Jehovah Nisi, Jehovah Shekeno. Let's give praise to the King, to the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Let's celebrate Jesus. Let's thank Him, let's thank Him, let's thank Him. What a mighty God that we serve. Lord, we worship you. Lord, we exalt you. Lord, we magnify you. Lord, we honor you. Thank Him. Thank the Lord. Thank Jehovah God. Let's thank Him. Let's give God the praise. Jehovah God, we thank you. Jehovah God, we honor you. We honor you for who you are. We honor you for your grace. We honor you for your strength. We honor you for your power. Everlasting Father, we honor you. We honor you, Jehovah God. We thank you. Just honor Him. Thank the Lord, thank Jehovah God. Somebody thank Him, thank Jesus. Jesus, we thank you. Jesus, we honor you. Jesus, we give you praise. Give that praise to the King. He has given you joy in your heart. Let's thank Him. He has given us joy in our heart. Let's appreciate Him. He has given us joy in our heart. He has given us joy. In our heart, he has given us joy. In our, our heart is the source of our motivation. Let's bless him. Let's worship him. Give the Lord the praise. Give the Lion of Judah the praise. Somebody appreciate the Lord wherever you are. Appreciate the King. The King of Kings. The Lord of Lord. The Lord of hosts. Let's give God the praise wherever you are. Let's celebrate Jesus. Let's celebrate the King. Let's honor the Lord. Let's honor the King. Let's honor Jehovah God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Let's bless Him. Thank you, El Shaddai. Lord, we thank you. Lord, we honor you. Lord, we worship you. Lord, we bless you. Lord, we give you praise. We give that praise to the King. Honor Him. What a mighty God that we serve. Or the King of Kings, let's give the Lord the praise. Let's appreciate Him. Is the source of our life. Is all in all. Jesus, you are all in all. You are all in all. We thank you, Lord, for your grace. We thank you, Lord, for your love. We thank you, Lord, for your spirit. We thank you, Lord, for everything. Just thank Him. Give the Lord the praise is the source of our life. Let's honor him. Let's honor the Lord. Let's honor the King. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Let's give that praise to the Lord. Let's give that praise to the King. Jesus, we thank you. Jesus, we honor you. We honor you for who you are. Glory be to your name. 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 Somebody bless the Lord. 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 Somebody worship him. Is the source of all. Is all in all. Let's celebrate Jesus wherever you are. Jesus is all in all. Let's honor the King. Let's honor the King. Let's honor the King. He is the King of Kings. Let's honor Jehovah God. He is the Lord of Lord. The source of our motivation. Is all in all, let's appreciate Him. Father, we appreciate you. Father, we appreciate you. 
Father, we appreciate you. Father, we honor you. Father, we honor you. We honor you, O God. 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 Honor Jehovah God wherever you are. Let's honor him. That's wonderful name, Jesus. That is the wonderful name, our Lord. Thank him, give the praise to him. He is the source of our motivation. Is all is the strength of our life. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Somebody give praise to him. Somebody celebrate him. What a mighty God that we serve. All the King of Kings that we serve. What a Lord of Lords that we serve. Thank him. Give that praise to him. Give that honor to him. Let's give that honor to the Lord. Let's give that honor to the King. Let's give that honor to the Lord of Lords, to the ancients of days. Let's celebrate Jesus from our heart. Let's celebrate Jesus from your heart. Let's celebrate Jesus. Jesus, we thank you. Jesus, we thank you. Jesus, we honor you. Jesus, we praise you. Jesus, we celebrate you. Give the Lord the praise. Give him the praise. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Somebody give that praise to the King. Lord, we thank you. Lord, we thank you. Lord, we worship you. Lord, we honor you. Lord, we give you praise. Lord, we adore you. Lord, we honor your name. Thank you, Father. We give you praise. We give you glory, Lord, as we honor you. Lift a voice to God. We give we glory, Lord, as we honor you. You are wonderful. You are worthy, O Lord. You are wonderful. You are worthy, O Lord. Let's bless him. Let's honor him. Let's say, Jehovah God, we thank you, Lord. Everlasting Father, we bless your name. Everlasting Father, we honor you. Everlasting Father, we give thanks to you. Everlasting Father, we say thank you to you, O God. Let's say thank you, thank you, O Lord. Let's thank Jesus for the grace of his love. Let's thank Jesus for the grace of the love of God. Let's thank Jesus for the grace of his love for us. For the grace of the love of God. Thank Jesus right now. I appreciate the Lord right now. I appreciate the Lord right now. Thank Jesus for his grace. Thank Jesus for his love. Thank Jesus for his goodness. Glory be to God. 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 We thank you, Lord. We bless you. Glory be to God. Glory to the King of Kings. Glory be to the Lord of Lords. Glory to ancients of days. Father, we bless you. Father, we honor you. Father, we thank you. Father, we give you praise to you, Lord. Be all the glory. To you, Lord. Be all the honor. To you, Lord. Be all the glory. Adoration forevermore. Lift your voice and bless him. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Daddy. In Jesus' name, we pray. Let us begin to thank him. I want us to thank him for what he's going to do in our life today. Let's thank him because he's going to do great things in your life. Let's thank him because he's going to do great things in your home. Let's thank him because he's going to do great things in your family. Let's thank him because he's going to do great things in the in life of your children. Let's appreciate him. Let's appreciate God. 
Thank you, Father, for great things that you will do. Great things you will do. Great things he has done unto the Lord. Be the glory. Great thing he has done. Great thing he has done. Great things he will do unto the Lord. Be the glory. Great thing he has done. Hallelujah. Praise. Let's thank him. Let's thank him. Let's worship him. Give God the praise. Thank him for another new day. This is the day the Lord has made. He said, I will rejoice and be glad in him. I will, I will rejoice unto the Lord. Be the glory. The thing he has done unto the Lord. appreciate him give thanks to him just honor him jesus is the source of our motivation jesus is the sort source of our motivation let's bless the lord let's give thanks to him let's honor him from the bottom of our heart let's bless the lord let's give thanks to him 
Jesus, we worship you. Everlasting Father, we give thanks to you. Glory be to your name, O God. Thank you, Everlasting Father. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. Thank you, Lord, the source of our strength. Thank you, Lord, all in all, our power. Let's appreciate him. He is the source of our motivation. He has given us joy in our heart. Let our life fill with joy, O God. In Jesus' name, we pray. Let us begin to ask the Lord, Lord Almighty, cleanse me, wash me from all my iniquity. Cleanse me from my sin, O God. Let us begin to ask for forgiveness from the Lord right now, the Lord God of heaven, to forgive us all of, us, all of our sins. Let's ask the Lord, my Lord and my God, forgive me all my sins. Let's ask the Lord, the Lord Job, God, to cleanse us from all of our iniquity. Let's ask him, Father, I come to you in the name of Jesus. In any areas of life that I have sinned against you, just begin to ask the Lord, the Lord God of heaven, to forgive us. In any areas of life that we have sinned against the Lord, let's ask him, Father, forgive me all my sins. Cleanse me from all my iniquities. Open your heart to God, the Lord God of heaven, to forgive you all your sins. And cleanse you from all your iniquities. Open your heart to God, Father, forgive me all my sins and cleanse me from all my iniquities. Open your heart to God, Daddy, forgive me all my sins, cleanse me from all my iniquities, O God. In the name of Jesus, in any area that I have sinned against you, let's ask the Lord, the Lord God of heaven, to forgive us. In the name of Jesus, open your heart to God in any areas of life that we have sinned against him. Let's ask the Lord, Daddy, forgive me all my sins. Cleanse me from all my iniquity. In the name of Jesus, wash me in your blood. Cleanse me in your blood. Purify me. Let's ask the Lord to sanctify us. As sanctify me, O God. Make me righteous. Make me holy. In the name of Jesus. Let's ask the Lord that the blood of Jesus Christ to cover you as you look unto him. In the name of Jesus. Somebody pray as you look unto God that the blood of Jesus cover my life. Let's ask the blood of Jesus Christ to purify or sanctify me in the name of Jesus. Let's ask the blood of Jesus Christ to purify your heart, to purify your spirit, soul, and body in the name of Jesus. The blood of Jesus cleanse me, wash me, purify me, sanctify me in the name of Jesus. Open your heart and pray. That the blood of the Lamb to purify your heart. In the name of Jesus, somebody ask the Lord, My Lord, am I God? Let your blood purify me. Let your blood sanctify me. Somebody pray that the blood of Jesus Christ to purify you, to sanctify you. As the Lord, the blood of Jesus cleanse me from all my sins. In the name of Jesus, purify my heart. Sanctify me. Come into my heart, Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus, the spirit of truth, come into my life. Somebody pray that the spirit of truth to come into your life. You need him. Say, Lord, I need you in my life. I need you in my life. As the Lord, tell the Lord that you need in your life right now. Somebody pray and ask him, I need you in my life. Jehovah God, I need you in my life. Somebody ask the Lord that you need him in your life right now. In the name of Jesus, open your heart and pray. Pray and ask the Lord that you need him. Jehovah God, I need you this morning. Lord, I need you this morning. That's the only one that can help us. Tell him, Lord, I need you this morning to break every satanic yoke, to set me free from every bondage. I need you this morning. Open your heart to God. Let's pray. Let's talk to Jehovah God that you need him this morning. My Lord and my Father, I need you this morning. In the name of Jesus, I need you this morning. Somebody pray. Tell the Lord that you need Jehovah God this morning. You need him to touch your life. You need him to break the yoke. You need him to set you free. You need him to deliver you. Let's pray. Lord, I need you this morning. I need you in my life. Lord, come to help me, O God. Come to deliver me. Come to set me free. Pray and talk to God, the Lord God of heaven to come. To come to set your life free. To come to deliver you. Open your heart to God. Lord, come in your power. 
Lord, come in your glory to set me free. Lord, come in your power to deliver me. In the name of Jesus, pray the Lord God of heaven to come in his power to set you free this hour, to deliver your life in the name of Jesus. Come to help me in the name of Jesus. In this journey of 2021, in this journey of February, that is journey with me, O oh God. Ask the Lord to journey with you in the name of Jesus to turn things around for you, to turn things around for your children, to turn things around for your marriage. Open your heart to God, the Lord God of heaven, to journey with you in 2021. In the name of Jesus, Lord, I need you. Open your heart and pray. Pray for the strength of God. Pray that you need him. Come to help me, O God. Come to set my life free. Come to deliver me. In the name of Jesus, open your heart to God, the Lord God of heaven, to come in his power, to come to set your life free. In Jesus' name, we pray. Say, Lord, concerning my life, concerning my business, concerning my children, concerning everything around me, say, Lord, have mercy. In 2021, have mercy on me. Let your peace reign in my heart. Let your word reign in me. I want you to open your heart and pray that Lord God of heaven, come have mercy on me. We need the mercy of God. If God declare in his word that I will have mercy on whom I will have mercy, bear your life need mercy. If God says that he need that he will have mercy upon whom that he will have mercy, Burn your life need mercy. My life need the mercy of God. You need that mercy of God to reign in your life. You need that mercy of God to reign in your own. Somebody open your heart and pray. Let's talk to God. My life need your mercy, O oh God. My life need your mercy, O oh God. My life need your mercy, O oh God. Open your heart to God. My life need your mercy, O oh God. Have mercy on me. Turn my life around. Have mercy on me. Turn my situation around. Have mercy on me. Turn my life around. Open your heart to God and begin to ask God, the Lord God of heaven, to have mercy. In this season, show me your mercy, O oh God. In the name of Jesus, open your heart to God. Pray and pray. We need mercy of God. We need the mercy of Jehovah God. Father, have mercy on me. In the name of and turn my life and turn my life around. And turn my story around. Somebody pray for God's mercy. Open your heart to God that you need the mercy of God to reign in your life right now. Open your heart to God. You need the mercy of God to reign in your life right now. I need the mercy of God to reign in my life right now. In the name of Jesus, let the hand of God's mercy reign in your life. In the name of Jesus, let the mess of God reign in your own. Bring, we need the mess of God. In the name of Jesus, you need the mess of God that will break every satanic yoke. You need the mess of God that will turn your life around. Father, I need your mercy. 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 In my life, I need your mercy. In my home, I need your mercy. In life of my children, I need your mercy. Thank you, good God. In Jesus' name, we pray. Let's lift our voice. Daddy, every yoke, every yoke that surrounds my life today, every yoke that is robbing me of my blessing, Daddy, break it. I want you to know that God wants to do that very thing that you want. So far, your heart is right. God is willing to give that money to you. God is willing to give that child to you. God is willing to help you. You know, God is willing to do all those things that we need in our life for us. Remember, He's the Father for us. He's God and also He's the Father. God is the Father to, his, to, to us. He's the Father. You know, He's taking care of every, every one of us. He's the one feeding the whole world. The fish in the river, in the sea. Many things like that. The year that we breathe. He's the one doing it for us as a Father. Is one that make the plant to grow, not by anything. So is the one himself. Is one that created the animal. No one can, even though they cannot do it, a man cannot see. Is the life because something that has life is only God that can do that. Anything that has life is only God that, that can do that. See, he's providing for us. 
He wants to give those things to you. He wants you to enjoy it. I want you to open your mouth and tell the Lord, let's lift our voice to God. Every power that don't want me to enjoy your goodness. Every power that don't want me to enjoy your goodness, oh God. That don't want that your business will start to grow. That don't want you to enjoy your children. Every power that don't want me to enjoy the goodness of you. Let that power be put to shame before me today. In the name of Jesus, can you lift your voice and begin to tell the Lord, every power that don't want you to enjoy the goodness of God. Every power that don't want me to enjoy the goodness of God. In the name of Jesus, the goodness of you in my life, in my marriage, in the life of my children. Oh, in the name of Santo Pranda Yebo. Every power that don't want me to enjoy your goodness. In the name of Jesus, every power that is robbing me of your goodness, oh God. That he put that sort of power to shame. Or somebody praying. In the name of Jesus. Power that don't want you to enjoy God's goodness. Every power that don't want you to enjoy God, God's goodness. In my life, in my own this morning. Holy Ghost, put such power to shame. In the name of Jesus. My father disappoints such power in my life today. Power that don't want you to enjoy God's goodness. Itali mashanda yaba. Koni mokusoto libukutu. Ikali mashande libukabo. Open your heart and pray. Let's cry before the Lord. Power that don't want you to enjoy God's goodness. In the name of Jesus. Power that don't want you to enjoy God's goodness. In my own, my father. Power that don't want me to enjoy your goodness. In my life, oh God. Power that don't want me to enjoy your goodness in my marriage, oh God. Power that don't want me to enjoy God's goodness. Open your heart and pray, tell the Lord that He put such power to shame in the name of Jesus. That power put it to shame. That want to rob me of my blessing. That want to rob me of my joy. That is delaying the progress in my life. That is delaying your success. Power that don't want me to enjoy the goodness of God in the name of Jesus. Open your heart to God. Let God of heaven begin to put such power to shame in the name of Jesus. Every battle in the name of Jesus that don't want me to enjoy the goodness of God in the name of Jesus. That don't want me to see the kindness of God in Jesus' name. We pray. Do you know what the enemy wants us to do? Is to have hatred towards God. By frustrating someone's life for you to look at God. Look at it. The main purpose of it, he told Cost God and die. He want Job to hate God. That's why he's passing through that what he's passing through. That's the aim of enemy. For you to say, no, God, you are no more. I don't want you. Hallelujah. That's why we need to endure and hold on to him. He's a good God. When you say God, something is good. You know, in him, the Bible says, in, in God, there is no evil. God don't, God don't want to suffer you. God don't want to do anything. God is a merciful God. God is a loving God. Hallelujah. Today he has a sight to judge. He judged sin. You know, God judged sin because he's a righteous God. He's a vengeance God. I mean, we, there are many things about him. But to all, he wants you to honor him and you enjoy him. And not in that, he wants you he, he want to love him. He wants your love and he loves you. You know, look at many things that we do wrong. He never dealt with us according to the measure of our sin. If God is a wicked God, maybe this morning, you know, maybe I would not be to stand here. Even though it's early morning, so, but this morning I just wake up. Yes. If God has to deal with us according to the measure of our sin. But he's not dealing with us like that. He overlooks many things. He, pay, he has the patience over us. You know, it's devil that want to suffer us. It's devil that want to judge us. Is devil that want to condemn us? Is devil that want evil over us? You can see the love of God from the beginning. In the creation, you can see that love. After a man sin, right away, what can I do for them? He finds solution to us. He finds solution to that very situation, the fall of a man. He gave himself at that moment. He has gave himself that. Don't worry, I'm, I will come and save these people. Remember, even though they are naked, he never send them away in nakedness. He's, they are using. He finds something. And cover them. Take this cloth and wear it. Is that not what happened? See, you think you can cover yourself with this leaf? This cannot cover you. 
He slaughter, he take a skin and he cover them. You take this cloth and wear and cover yourself. But one thing, he sent them away out of the tree. That tree is there. It's the tree that tempted them. That tree was there. You know, he said it was behold for, for beauty. Hallelujah. But he don't want them to die in sin, to continue in sin. So he has to send them away. Because when we, if they should eat the tree of life, there's no way. There's no way. There's no way they can do it. Because there's a chance. Okay, let me. They have not eaten the tree of life. So they will not continue in sin forever. Because as mean that we have eaten this tree of life, you know, you know, death is like we resurrect, we die, and we come back to life with a new. So when Jesus Christ is coming, is so he's going to resurrect us and give us a new heart, a new life, a new body. So we are a new person totally. That's what salvation is about. When Christ comes, he will resurrect us, he gives us a new body. You have a new body, you have a new mind, everything new. So, but death judgment has been passed. Everyone has to die. Death has to come. Except when Jesus Christ show up now, where that do that our life will be rapture with him, you know, in a tinkle of eyes, and we reign with him. Hallelujah. So God, what am I saying? God wants us, every one of us, to enjoy him. He wants us to have that liberty. God wants to give you. Now I want you to pray. And he told you to stand against such power. He told you, he give us strength through Christ Jesus for us is to enable us to stand against such power. Let's lift our voice to God. Father, I come against every power that is robbing you of this blessing. Every power that wants my life to remain barren. That wants you to remain barren for the rest of your life. Every power that wants you to live your life in, lonely, in loneliness. I'm tired. I come against you in the name of Jesus. Every power that wants me to continue is sin. Mayale mokoshanda li mokoshada. Kalima kalimo kosotolebo. Every power that wants me to enjoy God. That power that wants you to see the glory of God. Every power frustrating the effort of your life. Every power frustrating your dreams. In the name of Jesus. Every power that wants your joy to come. I come against you in the name of Jesus. Every power that is robbing me of my blessing. Power that is robbing me of my blessing. Open your heart to God. In Jesus name. We pray Psalm 55. Psalm 55. I want to share. Be a blessing this morning. That's first duty. That's our first duty. Be a blessing and share. Share, share the prayer. You can do that. We have the privilege to do that. Every one of us we have the privilege. To, whether you are listening on the radio. Or on the showers of blessing, or except the people that cannot share is those on the phone, but they can tell people before they, they can text. Join this prayer. That's the only person that cannot share during the time when we are praying. Those on the phone, because they hello, 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 join now. <laughs> but they can still do that too. <laughs> Hallelujah. That's the only people that cannot. Uh, the rest, whether you're on Facebook, YouTube. On, on showers of blessing, anywhere you are listening from, all of us we can share. We can all share. And I want you to do that this morning. I can be here, except there is a preacher. That's our duty. The Lord will go help us in Jesus' name. Psalm 55, verse 18. He said, He has delivered my soul in peace. Open your mouth and pray. There's a victory. That's, there, there, there are different kind of victory in life. But I want your victory to be in peace, not in pieces. So when the boxing is fighting, when you those people that you, that, use, that you watch boxing, sometimes you see the opponent probably batter the eyes of the, the other one. The eyes is swell up, everything. At the end, maybe he has a chance and able to, to give the other opponent one knock, one knockout, and, uh, and that's it. But the eyes is swelling. Everything, you know, the leg, you know, it barely, you know, you know, stand, uh, you're trying to get what I'm trying to say to you. But one thing, your victory, I want you to have a victory, a total victory, that every weapons of enemy will not have any effect over your life. I want to open your mouth from this Holy Spirit, from this battle of shame, from this battle of disappointment, deliver my life in peace. 
Deliver my life in peace. Let every weapons of enemy against me open your heart. Every weapons of enemy against my life be destroyed. That weapons of failure that is using for you. That every time that you are always failing. That weapons of depression. Killing my shadow. That want to depress you. That weapons of barrenness to frustrate your marriage. That weapons over your business. Not to move forward. That weapon of sin to rob us of our blessing. Open your heart to God. Open your heart and pray. Deliver my life in peace. So in the name of Jesus. Deliver my life in peace in 2021. In the name of Jesus. Deliver everyone in peace. He says, yes, deliver my life in peace from the battle. Open your heart and pray. In Jesus' name we pray. He said, yes, deliver my soul in peace. From the battle that was against me. For there were many with me. He said there are many that is with you. You don't know that the angels of the Lord. The Bible told me that the angels of the Lord encamp around. You have your angels. Listen. You have your angels that always around you. Do you know why the angels don't really act quickly to your case? Is because. Because. Why the angels don't really act quickly to our case? Is because we, because many of us, we don't honor God, and so they can't listen to you. Why the angels? Once you honor God, the angels they are your messenger. You put them to work. They are our messenger. We put the angels to work, and they work because you have. Once we honor God, you have the authority also to send them. Why we don't really enjoy their work? We don't really see them at work. Because they are not just the, why are they there in our life? For what? Just to just to be looking at us, to be writing your wrongdoing and your good deed. Oh, okay, this person is he do good today. Oh, mark for him. Ah, bad today. Mark for you. And you do say wrong thing. Oh, the angel is writing it. Oh, wrong thing. Oh, good, okay, good. So they overweigh your good and your bad. That's not how it work in the kingdom. <laughs> no, 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 that's not how it work. That God is going to overweigh your good. And some people believe that. Some people believe that. That God is going to weigh their good and bad. How do you know? You're going to, that person is going to fail. So at the end of your life, the angel is writing in us. So they weigh your good and they weigh your bad. You are saved by grace, not of work. God is not weighing your good. There's nothing good in you at all. There's nothing good in a man. There's nothing good in a man that can go before God and say, I'm so good like that. There's nothing good in us. There's, as I'm pastor, there's nothing good in me. Yes, except the righteousness of Jesus Christ. So God is not weighing your good. God is weighing your bad and see which one is much. And it's okay, you, you, you do good. Your bad is little. And your good is, uh, so you, you go to heaven. Never. That's not how it works. Hallelujah. Because if God is weighing our good, the Bible told all your all your good things is like a filthy rat. It's a filthy thing before God. If you bring the, your, the good one, even though you, the weight is so good and the bad is less, that very good one is filthy rat before him. It's not enough. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God must deliver you from the battles that was against you. I want you to open your mouth and pray. So the angels of God, why did I get to that story? You put the angels to work. They are not just there to write down your good and bad. They are there to secure your life. They are there to protect you. The angels of the Lord encamp around those that fear him. Put your angels to work right now. He said, he has delivered my soul from the battle that was against me. For there were many with me. Let those that are many with you, the angels of the Lord, in a machando barotata, put them to work to break every wall, every wall of failure. Break it down in the name of Jesus. Break every wall of delay. That weapons of enemy against you, 
to, to, to turn your life from God today. Let that war break, that war over your life. That war that don't want you to enjoy God, that is delaying the blessing of God. Open your heart and pray. Break it down, Daddy. Break it down, Daddy. Break it down, Daddy. Break it down, Daddy. Mashando Bradatelia. Break it down, Daddy. Mayele Moko Satayo. Break it down, Daddy. Yakini Moko Sotoliba. Break it down, Daddy. Mayele Moko Sotolikede. Break it down in the life of everyone this morning. We want that liberty. We want that freedom. In the name of Jesus, from that spirit of failure, from that power that is robbing you of your blessing, that is robbing you of your glory. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' name, we pray the Lord will disappoint your enemies today. Say that, amen. The Lord God of heaven will disappoint. He will deliver you in peace. That he will deliver your life in peace. The angels of God, that God, that he encamp around you today, we be at work. They will work now. In the name of Jesus. God will deliver your life. 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 God shall hear. The Bible says in verse 19, it says, God shall hear and afflict them. God shall hear and afflict them. Say, Father. I told us when you are praying this such a prayer, God afflict them. God destroy the camp of enemy. Don't have anyone in your heart. That, that, that means what I, I count it as a spiritual battle. I don't count it like well, once you begin to direct such prayer to somebody, God afflict so so so. Sister so 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 at my place of work. Sister so 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 in my family is what disturbing me. I've been seeing this sister in my dream. Lord afflict her. Let all our children. Let, let them finish. Let, <laughs> that is a stunt to something else. And, but if you pray, God afflict them, the camp of enemy. Nothing in your heart. Truly, you are not pointing to nobody. Even though sometimes, many of us, you don't know your enemies himself. Many of us, you know you don't know your enemies. That's why sometimes God listen. Many of our prayers, we pray God, don't, just, God just look at us and laugh. Even though you don't know your enemies himself. Oh, this is that. He's the one that I've been seeing. Ah, oh, they told me it's my mother. They told me it's my mother. And the baby don't be your mother. So go, consume. Let the person die. Let this person finish. And God look at it. Okay. The person cannot die because the person is not on your case. The one that is your friend that is laughing. That is, oh, I will help you. Let's go to this place. Let's go to this. I know that you where you can find a, a solution to your problem. I will take you there. The one that is taking you around. Ah, there's a man of God now that you can talk to. Oh, there's one Baba here. The one that is taking you. Maybe it's the one behind you. Ah, uh, sister, so, 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 God bless you. And God look at you, my God. This is the person. And you are praying for somebody. This person died. That's why the Bible says we don't know what to pray. Let Holy Spirit pray in your house. So when you want to pray the kind of prayer, throw your heart open. God knows the person. You know, I have heard somebody that have talked to me one day say, take let me pray over this person to die. I said, no, no, no. I, 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 I don't do that. He said, help me pray over this person. I, 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 want, I want you to pastor. Look at the picture of this person. Help me pray that this person should die. Eh? 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 I said, no. I don't do that. I said, I don't do that. No. How can I say, so? oh, this person fell in the name of Jesus Christ. But I've never done that in my life. Let this person die. This person, you will die. You will die. Die, die. <laughs> God will be laughing. God will be laughing. If the disciple of Jesus Christ pray over Peter, over Paul that is killing them, die. Die. We will not read the Bible. So God have a purpose. I don't know. Some people can probably be bad up to now. But they are a child of God. Where God, that kind of prayer will never answer over them. Because they are a child of God. They are a son of salvation, a daughter of God. Even though he has go astray, that Jesus Christ is go and look for the person and return them back. And you are praying for that such person to die? Never. That person will stay long on that suffering. Because he's a son of salvation. God, the blood of Jesus Christ, have read. Even though the person is astray, even though the person is astray, if the disciple pray over Paul, Paul that killed among them, they stoned James to death, that is Stephen to death, even though he took the clothes, 
kill him, put them in prison. God, we will not have 13, 13 scripture written by him. Hallelujah. So what you do, I believe, pray that God should deliver you. I don't say God should not pass judgment. God, I don't know. God can do whatever he want. That is up to him. Because hallelujah. So I want us to pray. Daddy, in the name of the Bible says, he said, deliver my soul from, in, from that battle that was against me. Every battle that was against you today, let God deliver you. From that battle that's against your life, let God deliver you. God shall hear and afflict them. I want you to open your mouth in the camp of enemies where they gather, daddy afflict, scatter them. Ask the Lord to scatter them. Mashada limoko shata. In that camp that they gather against my life, daddy afflict them, scatter them. In the name of Jesus, can you open your heart and begin to pray? Ikalimosodo barabagada. Kesondo prende debo. All those that have vowed Ikatayabosa for your downfall in the name of Jesus. Holy Ghost, scatter them. Ikata, scatter them in the name of Jesus. All those that vow over your children, there's no way out for you that you are not coming out of this battle. Everyone that have sold yourself for evil one. Ili moko soto li makalibo. Yele makato peru petete. Ask the Lord to scatter them. Open your heart and pray. Ask the Lord to scatter them. In Jesus' name, we pray. Why? I want to let you know that in this dispensation that we are in is a dispensation of grace. What is grace? Grace is what you don't deserve where God gives to you. And we are in dispensation of it. How we enter that dispensation of it to Christ Jesus the Bible told me when sins are banned, where the you know people people are committing sin, the Bible says grace abounds more. I mean that grace they will repent, they will repent. That's what he's saying. That's what he's saying. That is not the grace, 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 grace. Ah, ah. Don't let me judge them now. Don't let me do, judge them now. Don't let me. He's gonna judge. He's gonna judge. God is gonna judge. God is gonna judge. Is it? But grace abound more chances. He's giving them more chance. Oh, they will repent. Oh my God. Judge their fire. Ah, they will repent. They will repent. Ah, don't let me kid. I die for them. I die. I die. I die. I die. I die. I die. That's why you see that uh, 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 the wicked thrive. Why did the wicked thrive? Because of the grace of God. You know, why the wicked thrive? Why the wicked? Why these wicked are still, still alive? They should have died right away. God, look at them. Let me give them chance. Even though I know that has commission so bad, but I don't want this person to die. Do you know God don't like a sinner to die? Know that in your mind. You yourself, you're a sinner. And God don't want me to. God don't want you to die. There's no big sin. There's no small sin before God. It probably have different repercussions. But sin is sin. There's no big sin. There's no small sin. Sin is sin. But it probably have a repercussion. Greater repercussion. Uh, repercussion from different from each other, you know. You probably have somebody with ten dollar students, and you know, somebody selling thousand, somebody that went over, rob, kill. You know, there's a decree, degree of uh, a sin of judgment. You know, even in, in the normal world, you know, there's a decree of it of judgment. You know, that's also is it. But sin is sin. Before God, sin is sin, and this wages of sin is death. So there's no there is no sin. There's no big sin. Before God, sin is sin. Hallelujah. There's no way you want to. Oh, but it's little. Everybody's doing it. I only try it one time. Sin is sin. <laughs> Hallelujah. The Lord will give us victory in Jesus' name. Open your heart and pray. Daddy, I want to be free. He said, God shall hear and afflict them. Yeah, today, deliver me from that power. Some people, they have, they have vowed. They have sold their heart for devil. They are sons and the daughter of perdition. Their heart is in the hand of devil. They have gave their life, total life. Even though Jesus Christ is telling them, repent. Leave this person alone. Don't torment this person anymore. He said, no, 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 no. I'm not. No, 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 no. No. Even though Jesus Christ, you know, you know many of times, Jesus Christ is talking to your enemies. Don't think he's not talking to them. Leave that sister alone. Leave that sister alone. Leave that sister alone. He said, no, no, I'm not going to leave her alone. I'm not going to leave her alone. Ask the Lord 
in Messiah, in that camp of those enemies, that principalities and power, the which the spiritual wickedness in high places, tormenting my life that is fighting against me, that vow that not in this life that I will prosper, that the year afflict that camp today, in the name of Jesus, with your judgment, Yadanda Limokoshata, afflict that camp today. Open your heart and pray. 2021. 2021 is my year. My year of progress and turnaround. Is my year of acceleration. Is my year to recover. Is my year to get it back. Every power, Yenye Moko Parabaka, Le Marobe Kushatania, Le Predo Soto Brando Tete, Bayakato Perupede, Le Pra. Ando soto ni mekete lo brado to kopo kushata ya da baga daga. Oh, thank you, my father. In Jesus' name, we pray. Somebody, the Lord says he's going to shame that your enemy. The person you know in your life told you, you know, there's some battle. The battle is so real, like a battle of David. Like a battle of the, the battle of David is not a, a, a battle. That is a, a behind one. To me, it's a spiritual battle. It's a battle that it, that battle is so real. Saul was against David to kill him at all costs. Saul was against David. I want to finish him. Some people in your life, some people I know, some people that their battle, the the enemies will confront them. Listen, I'm the one in your life. I'm the one doing it. And truly is the one for you. Like that battle of David. Not a spiritual battle. I saw I die in my dream. I just saw somebody. You don't know the person. But this person has turned from, from not only his spiritual alone. They are fighting you physically. Physical fight. They have even from spiritual one. Some people they will fight you spiritually. They will fight you physically. They to, to know to show you that they have power. They will fight you phys physically. Also, they will fight you spiritually for you to know that, listen, I have power. I will show you who I am. And it's true. They will show you truly that I'm the person. Go anywhere. They are not hiding. You know, some, someone they are hiding. They, 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 want, they are doing to just to finish someone. But some people, they are so real to your life. Listen, nothing will come out of your life. Forget about it. I say what is as I'm saying no, forget it. you will not go to get anything. Hallelujah. That the Lord today he says he's going to shame them. I'm talking to somebody. He said he's going to shame such person in your life today. That Lord God of heaven will shame such person in your life today. Anyone fighting you physically, spiritually, here you are so bold before your face. Say no, you are not going nowhere. I am a Kali Asida. That Lord God of heaven will shame them with all their power. He will put them to shame. He will disgrace them. He will disgrace them. You know how many years that day before the battle with Saul, Saul running all over, he's running from one city to another. He also is still pursuing him. From one city to another, David is running. At one point in time, he has a chance to kill him. That's why they call David a man. The man with the heart of God. He has a chance to kill the king. Ah, everyone told him, listen, this is the day of victory today for you. See your enemy on the ground. Take one strike and strike him down. And that should be the end. Ah, he said, never. He said, never. He said, never. That I should touch the one that God has anointed. I bet many of you, you will slap. <laughs> you will slap this year, year pastor. You will, you will, you will, you will lambat the mouth. You see, never. It's not that he honor Saul. He honor God. Not that David cannot kill Saul at that moment, but because he loved God and he honor God, because he have seen God have set Paul, Saul now apart. The hand of the Lord is on him. He said, No, don't let me touch the one that God has anointed. I bet you many of you will lambast. You, you will knock down. Thank God, you know. So, social media has his own part too. He has a good side. And has a, he's made us see many things going on. Some people will walk in pastor. Yaga. Yaga. <laughs> they will kick. Listen, it's too judgment. It's going to come. 
God is going to disgrace. Maybe God wants to disgrace the pastor. You know, it can probably happen. But you that as an instrument to do that, know that there is judgment coming upon that person. Anytime God uses you for against such a thing, you know, the judgment is coming upon that person too. That's why God used such a person. I'm telling you, write it down. Anytime someone is available to, for you to use to do such a thing, the judgment is coming on the person too. You know that something is going on in the life, life of that person. That God also wants to judge. So he wants to judge the pastor too, by let you lambast his mouth too. And the person that you that lambast the mouth too, the both of them want to receive judgment. Because at the end, God says, Okay, why do you do such a thing? Hallelujah. God will not. <laughs> yes. There's judgment we're going to come on both. Whether you want to, whether you, the pastor is, is has his own judgment, the person also that volunteer for such a thing. Waki Waki also is coming too. He said, no, that I should, I'm not saying you should not say the truth to the pastor. There's a way you can say the truth. Yeah, I don't say you should not spoil your mind so you see them like God. No, I'm not saying that to us. If anything, come, talk to me. I don't mind. If you see anything wrong, let me know. So I'm, like, ah, I'm a man of God. What do you mean? Come on. You're a man before you're a man of God. <laughs> yes, you're a man before, before you're a man of God. So you can talk. You can let anyone that don't want to accept correction, that person also is you know, act for destruction. The man of God should be open to accept correction. Yeah, if he sees right, I thought, let's pray, help me. You know, I know I'm sorry. No, 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 no. I'm a man of God. I thought I fire you. <laughs> no, 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 no. It should not be. But, you know, he honor God. He only honor God, not Saul. He can kill him. He said, no. And see how God gave him the victory. The victory more than 15 years battle. It's not a small battle. David was anointed at the age of 15 where Samuel went over to pour the oil on him. He became a king of Judah at the age of 30. He became the king of Judah at the age of 30. See that battle. That, and from battle from one house to another. From one city to another. Not a battle is there. Send anyone to kill him. Kill the boy for me. Kill this boy for me. I want this boy dead. I want him dead. He will never mount to that throne. He will never. And that's it. He's afraid of his glory. Anyone that is afraid of his glory today, that your business will move forward. Anyone that is afraid of your children today, that your children will deliver you from your suffering. Anyone that is afraid of your glory. I am a that Lord Jehovah God will put them to shame. In the name of Jesus, and will put them to shame in Jesus' name. As I'm so as I'm praying, I saw a chain, a big chain. I pray, let every chain break. Let every chain break. Let every chain break. Let every chain break. Let chain break. But anointing say yoke are broken. Ili makosai de baka le brando shunda ya de bokushida kani makali makosai de bokuholia. I pray let every chain break, break right now. You are delivered in the name of Jesus. Every chain in your life, every chain love your children, every chain your marriage, every chain your life break in the name of Jesus. Every chain break, 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 break. I pray in the name of Jesus. Yeah, 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 yeah. Osaka yaga. Rupa kushete lebon. Let Holy Ghost break the chain. You are free today. You are delivered today. In the name of Jesus. Every chain, every chain break in the name of Jesus. No more that you remain bound anymore. No more that you remain bound anymore. No more that your life remain bound experience the freedom experience the liberty in the name of Jesus Christ experience the freedom experience the liberty you are free by the grace of God Jesus set your life free today you are free you are free from that battle that, that is pushing you I know some battle is so real I'm telling you I know that some battles so real that even though it's go beyond spiritual battle, 
that some people can see things physically running around. Some people can see things going on in their life. Hallelujah. Yalima kusa kule makata ya. Gunda nimo koper kata. Today you are free from that battle. Jesus set you free from that battle. You are free. 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 Every chain of enemy over your life. Every chain of darkness over you. In your family that own you. So di kalima kapa pa shede. Kono moko parabaka papa. So do boko perepete kete. Ye deli bakosate over your children. Every battle that's so real. That you don't know what to do. So real. The battle so in front of you like this. That what can I do? I can see the evidence. There's some battle that you can't see the evidence. It's just be. I just know that something is happening to me. I just know that I don't know what is. I don't understand it. The, but some battle, you know what is happening to you. It's so real to you. You look at your children. You look at your husband. You want to start business. The business is not moving forward. You should want to do this. It's so real to you that ah, you don't know when you do this. This is what is going to happen. When you do this, this one, you know the result of what is coming. Hallelujah. Many of us, you know the result of what is coming because if you step your feet in this place, you know what is going to happen. It's, the battle is so real. Let God defeat that battle today. That battle consumed by fire. You are delivered from so that battle. That battle that's so real. That has, that has put fear in your heart. That has put fear in the life of your children. That's so real. That you don't know what to do, to do anymore. My Messiah. Because you are before the Lord today. Because you look unto Jehovah God. The rock of ages. The strength of power. Let battle be consumed by fire. Every battle that you want to let go. Every battle. Let that battle be defeated. You are free this morning. You are delivered this morning. You are delivered this morning. In the name of Jesus. You are delivered this morning. In the name of Jesus. You are delivered. I pray God told me to say to, to declare to everyone that you are delivered. And now let your life know it now. As I'm saying it, know it in your life. As I'm saying it, let the angels of God move, move at work right now. Begin to set you free. You are delivered. You are delivered. You are delivered. In the name of Jesus. You are delivered. 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 Abaya, you are delivered. You are delivered. You are delivered. Rabagali makopo kosho toto. Rabagadi ge de ge de ge. La brando soto to. Ya ta 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 ta. Rebeke de ge de. Oh, thank you, my father. You are delivered, Sherry. You are delivered. Ika lima saida. Europa kusha delia. You are delivered. You are delivered. You are delivered. Everyone, you are delivered. Ikata, ikele mosoto, la prado kete, mashando bragada. Let the angels of God now are on their assignment to set people free now. Be at work. Begin to lose the chain. Begin to lose the chain. Begin to lose the chain. Every chain that you came with this morning, lose now from your hand. Lose from your business. Lose from your life. In the name of Jesus. Ili makapai mosonda. Know that you are free. Know that you are delivered. Know that you are delivered. Know it in the name of Jesus. Let your life know it. Let your business know it in the name of Jesus. Let that your children know it. Let your son know it. Let your body know it that you are delivered. Begin to see progress. Begin to see success. Begin to see open level. Begin to see favor. In the name of Jesus, that is your portion as of today. Anyone that say no to it, let the judgment of Jehovah God come on such power. Anyone that said no to this, to what I have declared, that you are delivered, let Holy Ghost arrest them. Anyone that said no to this, I decree the judgment of God. I decree the judgment of God. I decree the judgment of God. In the name of Jesus, you are delivered. Thank you, good God. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. You are delivered. Your blessing will come to you. The favor of God will surround you. You have waited enough. Experience the blessing. 
You have waited to see it. Now begin to see it. Now you have cried to the Lord. Now let your tears be wiped off. It's your season of joy. It's your season of moving forward. It shall be well with you. In Jesus' name, our Lord, we pray. Amen. Say that, amen. Amen. Say that very amen. Amen. Hallelujah. But just put in mind that, you know, we have a partner prayers today. By four, we can join on Zoom. You can be there. You can join on Zoom. And I know the Lord of God will do great things for us. In Jesus' name. And if somebody sent their testimony to me yesterday, now you can, I believe testimony, you know, she said she felt something, uh, you know, she's feeling, she felt a pain in her chest or something like that, you know. And after she remembered there's oil. And they went over and applied that oil. You see, when you, she went asleep, and when she wake up, that pain disappeared. Yes. So that's a testimony. You know? So your testimony also is coming. Hallelujah. That's a testimony. So I know your own will come. You, every one of us, because he's a good father, he wants us to have it. That's the evidence of our God. That is alive. Showing his favor over our life. In the name of Jesus. If anyone that is sick this morning, I think I need to be praying for the one that believes God for healing. If you trust God for healing, just stretch out your hands and touch the place. I know there's a grace for healing. Father, in the name of Jesus, in any area that we need healing, you told us by your stripe that we are here. That we ask for healing in our body because you have been beaten for it. And you said by your stripe that we are healed. That I command the healing power of you, God, to move to every pain, to every sickness, to disappear right now. In the name of Jesus, I command the healing of God right now to manifest in their body. Receive your healing in Jesus' name. Receive your healing in Jesus' name from every sickness. Receive your healing in, the, in Jesus' name. Let the healing of Jesus Christ manifest in your body and let the name of Jehovah God be glorified. Whatever kidney, whatever thing, your body, any, any, anything your body, right? Receive the healing right now. Thank you, good God. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. We just put in mind that the prayer continue tonight by 12.30 a.m. To one around 1 to 3 for the section for tomorrow morning on Friday, and but today there is partner prayer by four. And uh, every first day, you get your oil, we anoint ourselves. And I told you, everybody's a partner, whether you are sharing, you are just do your own best to make your participate, make sure you are part of it. And that's what I want you to do just make sure <laughs> don't sit at the back, make sure they are doing something. You are part of it. Not just let me just pump in and pump out. Don't pop in, pump out, pump in and pump out. We never bring it in. What part of it? When you are church, be a part of your church. Because I just like to see pastors pray. I say amen. <laughs> no, 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 no. It's not good. That's not how it works in the kingdom. Be part of it. Yes. Let the zeal of the Lord, the house of God, things of God, consume you. That's what adds as a reward. God is not a foolish God. When you want to bless people, He knows who is going to bless. Though their heart is loyal to Him. Don't be a warm, a warm, just pastor say amen. Pastor pray. I just want to say amen and go. Don't do that. Anywhere you find yourself in the house of God, be part of it. Do your little best. Let, always, let God know that you are doing your best. That's what God is going to bring blessing to you. I just say, oh, I, pray. I told you, prayer is not mean worship. Prayer means that you need things from God. So do your own for God. God also wants things from you too. It's a two-way thing. It's not a one-way. It's not a one-way thing. It's a two. When you are dealing with God with one-way thing, there's no much blessing in it. Deal with God with a two-way thing. I give to you, God. You give to me. I serve you. you I serve you. you will, I know you will serve me. I honor you. I know you will honor me. It's a two-way thing. Those that honor me, I honor. So why God say that word? It's not a one-way thing. It's a two-way. You do, I do. God know that. It's what, as God is working. That's how it's working in the kingdom. You do, I do. You do, I do. You do, I do. Give, and shall be given to you. So it's not one way. Give, I stay. Walk. Walk for me. I'm not going to walk for you. No. 
if that is your mindset, turn it around. It's two way, two way, two way, two way. At the end, you can never out out give him. He is going to do much for you. He is going to do much for you than what you want to do for him. God is going to do much for you than what you want to do for him. God bless you. Let's share the grace together. For the grace of Jesus Christ, the love of God, and His faithful Holy Spirit. Be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our life. And we shall join us, O Lord, forever and ever. Amen. Hallelujah. Go in the grace of God for life. Go in the grace of God and return in God's blessing for life. Go in the grace of God and return in God's blessing. God bless you. Bye-bye. Thank you for being here. Thank you. Bye-bye.